Hello. So our first experiment making pulled pork, or actually just cooking pork shoulder roast in our new uh, Power Quick Pot. Pressure uh, cooker. Pressure cooker. And if you take a peek inside the pot there, I cut the big 10 pound roast and deboned it into like two inch chunks. Put it all in there with a few spices, salt, pepper, garlic, and um, some other stuff. And when I pull it out of the pot, I'm just sorting out the fat. And this stuff is literally like Melting. falling apart meat. Uh -oh. And then our light's dying. <laughs> so there you go. Oh. We got chunks right here. And it's a chunk of meat. And you just take it with a fork and mash away. And it just turns into pulled pork chunks just like that. Of course, after we get through this whole pot of meat chunks right there is a big chunk of jiggly fat mm, like a jello yep, so i take it over here and i just try to pull any meat that may be on it off and we're gonna put this barbecue sauce yeah in it right so after you get all the meat shredded and sorted from the fat you add barbecue sauce to it as a base and then i don't know we're gonna probably doctor up something mad scientist cook thing with uh, brown sugar and Worcestershire sauce. sauce and soy sauce and all kinds of goodies so probably a blend of uh, american filipino adobo something that's gonna be <laughs> really good with the double. i'm sure anyway so this is also like a, a review of this power quick pot how it worked out well, it worked out really the hour and a half we bought this at high pressure cook setting did we order this at amazon this pressure uh, no cooker? i got it from um costco costco and it cost like it, oh, on it black, black friday right yeah it was like 40 dollars but originally it is like and it's an eight quart pot with stainless steel came with a bunch of accessories and i'm still playing with how to use it properly so, so the reason far. I cut this meat into chunks is because I wasn't sure how to cook a 10 pound chunk of meat in a pressure cooker. I couldn't find any recipes or you know, heat settings, time settings, anything like that to tell me how to do it. So I did find something for chunks of meat. So that's what I did to it. And we're ending up with uh, basically pulled pork. So yeah. this we have tried also... It's a great pressure for cooker like for brown rice. rice. Yep. Brown rice and it took... It takes 18 minutes of actual cook time for a lot of brown rice. With about 10 minutes of warm up time. You can cook brown rice in about half, half an hour or so versus the hour with our rice cooker. The regular rice cooker. And it comes out perfect every time. So we tried it twice already and it, yeah, it took 20 minutes. Ah. 18 minutes. Hello, Apollo. And here's the little boy. And he's running around. He's running going around, on. just playing yeah. with the dog's bolt. You're waiting for the meat. <laughs> of course, the dogs are waiting. Waiting for the fat. Ooh. Jiggly wiggly. They look deadly. <laughs> Looks like artery clogging goodness. What? Why are you waving at me? <laughs> so that's it yep you're just doing this process over and over again this is the up. first time yeah there's probably better faster easier ways to do it but i'm a noob at this so this is how i'm doing so it. How, how are you gonna rate this power so Quick far pot. i give it a, a nine out of ten nice because it's kind of complicated on the heat settings and i wanted to set it for two and a half hours runtime but it only let me set it for an hour and a half Okay. But that turned out to be plenty. Uh, so anyway, you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoy this video.